if you think back to when we were looking quite a few chapters ago at indices, then I introduced a concept of a hidden quadratic. So a quadratic equation that was hidden, in effect, because it looked slightly different. But it is a quadratic equation by any other name. And this is another example. We have sine squared x plus 3 sine x plus 2 equals 0. And we're going to be solving this trigonometric equation between 0 and 2 pi, so in radians. Now, if you replaced sine x with y, then you would have y squared plus 3y plus 2 equals 0. Now that can be factorised, that's y plus 2, y plus 1. And so if we put the sine x back in, we actually have sine x plus 2, sine x plus 1 equals 0. So I've effectively factorised this equation. Now, from that, we either then have sine x plus 2 is 0, or sine x plus 1 is 0. So we're solving the equations sine x equals minus 2, or sine x equals minus 1. Now, let's sketch sine. So there's sine between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so there's 1, and there's minus 1. Now, sine x equals minus 2. Minus 2 is all the way down here. And as you can see, the sine curve doesn't go down that far, and so there are no intersections between sine x and minus 2. So this has no solutions. Now, you can inverse sine minus 2 in your calculator, but you won't get any solution from it. And that is because minus 2 does not intersect sine x. Sine x equals minus 1, however, touches the curve at one point between 0 and 2 pi. And that is 3 pi over 2. If you inverse sine minus 1, okay, let's see what the calculator gives. Now, inverse sine of minus 1. Ah, now that gives you minus pi over 2. Right? But that is outside of the range. It's actually giving you that the one there, that's to the left of the y-axis. So, the solution we want is by adding on the period of sine, which is 2 pi, which gives us the 3 pi over 2 that we want. And that is the only solution to the original quadratic equation. Okay? So that is how we deal with this problem. We're going to be looking at more complicated examples than that.